So everybody, welcome to our room. And we are actually quite shocked because this room looks a little different than the one we had before. It looks very nice. It looks very nice. Like it's like it's it's like day and night and black and white. It's crazy. I didn't see the bathroom yet and it looks very cool too I like it I actually like it quite a lot it's looks so great pretty. so new and like as you may have noticed we changed already we're going for dinner in a few minutes but before we leave and before we you know give you um, a proper um, hotel tour we wanted to explain a little bit um, some costs of, of this trip we're not getting into the flight tickets but it gets only specifically about um, this vacation here in Mexico and uh, we will not only talk about the hotel but in future vlogs we'll also talk about the other stuff we do in Tulum about the restaurants we visit for example uh, or the cenotes and all that kind of stuff so you also when you travel then this might you know be a, a good guide for you we paid this time for our transportation from cancun airport until the hotel 1750 pesos because we had colleagues on board as well and we shared a taxi here and like it's a van taxi and it cost to in total three thousand yeah which is you know a, a good price so hotel stay well we had originally 12 nights yeah then we switched to like four days earlier like or five to uh, for 13 nights and i think um you it's not the typical price because we have airliner discount yeah. for the travel industry and we also had to present our ids we paid around 70 to 75 euro Per night. Per night for both of us and it's an all-inclusive hotel. Everything all-inclusive from all alcoholic drinks if you want, wines and food 24-7. I mean it 24-7. Yeah, which is great. And every, every, pretty much every activity here in the hotel as well is included in the price. A normal hotel that's not all-inclusive would also cost you just exactly the same. So um, for that price, it's great but the food quality it's it's good on the buffets but the best part comes actually in the restaurants they have here five restaurants you know the one is a french one the other one it's a mexican one the other one it's an italian one i'm not saying that the, the food in the buffet it's it's bad it's good but it's like a typical buffet style food and the other ones is you know you can sit yeah. there um, and i think um the guest relation guy told me you have one reservation in those restaurants for two nights of stays so it depends on how long you stay then you should just ask in the front and just you have to reserve a table there for how many people you want and then you go at that date at that time where you reserved it and at the buffet it's just open from 6 30 until i think 9 p.m yeah what i have to say is that the protocols are crazy good in this hotel from what we heard of it's one of the best around the area. I mean, they are checking your your temperature, your body temperature, um, a lot. Uh, you have to wear masks. Also, the um, the staff here also is wearing masks, and they're wearing them the right way. Something uh, I have to also. It's, it's it it is a concern of mine because a lot of people usually wear the mask here or sometimes even here. <laughs> Or not, just underneath the chin. Everybody here is wearing it the right way. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. You know, um, everybody is taking care of that um, two meters um, distance. distance between each other. Um, the chairs outside, you will see tomorrow. There are also placed uh, two chairs uh, next to another two meter space, the next ones. So it's, it's done well. Even uh, sanitized and uh, disinfection. All our luggages, our, yeah. even our in my handbag, they just sprayed down. We had to sanitize all our hands. I think that that's about it for now. Um, like I said in the future vlogs, when we will rent a car and when we drive somewhere, we will. Um, if you are interested in that, we will show you the prices from the things we're paying. 
it's great value for money here and um, we feel very welcome so I mean I noticed that the people like you here a lot uh, no no wonder that you're coming here every year pretty much um, back so yeah guys let's go for dinner I'm starving we'll see you tomorrow bye start with our hotel tour here at the Viva Winda Maya and we start in one of the favorite places for most of people and this is the main theater this is like the main attraction in the evening we'll show you around the place because around this place here you have a pool a bar a snack bar a restaurant and the beach we have the trapeze which is for free like everything i'm showing you actually it's for free so if you come here you can do it the, tra the trapeze team is always welcoming you for you know doing crazy stuff i've never done it and i will never do it but hey you can do it we have here the restaurant miramare an italian based restaurant with a focus on um seafood we have the snack bar which opens at around 11 and closes at around 9 and the bar. Probably a lot of you will come here time after time after time after time and get something to drink. You could get alcohol 24 hours, but I prefer actually like it's something like a, like a neck shape with a banana mix or something like that. Uh, again, it's at the pool, so it's great. You don't have to walk any long distances. This is one of two bars here at the Viva Vida Maya. Gracias. Buen día. Buen día wake up the pool now you have here three different pools in this area you have like the biggest one you have one where you can sit and lay around the sun you have the deepest one over there there's like a kind of um, stage where usually the people the animation team does the aqua gym training so and we got the beach Here's one of the main restaurants. This is Hacienda Don Diego. It's a Mexican restaurant. Um, we'll come and have dinner here, but that will be on another vlog. So yeah, check it out sometime later. Here's the Mayan Cenote. Now I won't show you this, but I will be showing you what happened um, a few days ago when we were on the first trial of filming all this. So where are we? <laughs> where are we? Oh god. This is <laughs> Where are we? Like what is this part of the hotel? It's like a dried out cenote. Okay. Did you just see that? <laughs> so, so like we were saying, this is a dried out cenote with uh, a few Mayan sculptures that were found here in the area. So these are like local, these were not brought into here. So they were like most probably like found here, some were around here. So um, yeah, it's a cool little place with lots of plants, very tropical. So oh, yeah, um, okay, now <laughs> we continue to the main lobby. So this is, I call it El Patio. It's not called like this, I, I don't think it has a name, but this is where in the evenings, most of the people reunion, have a drink, and there's usually live music, which is very nice. And if there's not live music being played, there's a DJ as well playing some great music. So it's quite comfy and very nice. Mask on. We are on the 
main lobby area and the check-in area as well and over there we have the stairs to La Terraza that's the main buffet restaurant this is the main buffet where you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Apart from going, you know, to the big restaurants, uh, they have different kind of meals every day. They have like topics, and on the same time, they have um, you know some meals they have every day. The same, some regular ones. Uh, yeah, we'll have breakfast right now. And from the entrance to your right, you have. The other bar, this is where you actually get the drinks to go to the patio and you know, have your drinks also 24 7 all the time. You can get from you know, coffee to the most powerful alcohol in the world tequila. So now we'll go to the adults area only. This is a place where no kids can go, and basically, no shouting is allowed, no music is allowed, and that's for the direction. Have any medical issues around your trip there's always a doctor 24 hours and if you're traveling with kids this is a family friendly hotel uh, there's a kids club for your kids so if you want to just you know leave your kids somewhere and forget about everything this would be the place to go and by the way for those of you who are sporty there's a gym and over there there's a tennis court very near from the entrance of the hotel down on the street and this is where the adults area is the adults pool it's cool I actually have never been here only once but I never sit down but if you want to have like pure calmness this is actually the pool you should visit so over here is now the spa area I think the entrance is over there I've never been because obviously it costs extra money massages haircuts beauty treatments, anything you want, you can do here. So, and this is the main spa? Yes, exactly. This is the entrance where you can ask for appointments and anything you would want. Let's go now the other way down. We're not going the same way down we came up. We're going on the other side. Last stop for today is the Portofino, it's a Mediterranean restaurant. Um, we will also visit it sometime soon in another vlog. Whew, it's very hot, we're almost there. We made it. I think we showed you the hotel in a quite quick way, but you saw everything you had to know. And uh, like I said, we feel at home in this hotel and we would come forever and always. As this was it for this vlog, see you for the next vlogs from Tulum, from our food adventures. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And if you come to Viva, say hi from our side. We'd really appreciate that. Viva Winda Maya, amigos para siempre, ole, and goodbye.